This is a celebration, y'all. Today, a community came together to remember 28-year-old Muluke Desara. It's a fantastic time. She's pointing to the sign caps that are now up, honoring Sara, a college student from Ethiopia who was beaten to death by a group of white supremacists 30 years ago. The crime took place here on Southeast 31st early Sunday morning. This is video from our KGW archives. Looks exactly the same today as it did then. It's one of the places in Portland that um, hasn't changed. But now it has changed with these 16 sign toppers put up in the Kearns neighborhood. Portland city leaders and Sarah's family were there for the occasion. I'm glad that things are happening to effect change. It's crucial to acknowledge and protect every member of our community, no matter their race or country of origin or immigration status. Even the two litigators who argued Sarah's case showed up to honor his memory. If Mulligan is Sarah's commemoration, is to have meaning to us. I think the meaning should be that this wave of hatred that is endangering our democracy must be stopped. Portland has shown quite clearly that it will not be silent. It will not remain neutral. Among those in the crowd, these students from Sunnyside Environmental School. Yeah, but I think the most impressive thing is to see this group of kids from school. <laughs> they are our hope. A hope for change. So what happened to Sarah doesn't happen again. Thank you. And don't stop now. We got work to do, y'all. This afternoon, the city of Portland will honor Sarah as well at the city council meeting. We also spoke to a hate crimes expert who says the skinhead movement has mostly disbanded, but in its place are groups like the Proud Boys and other alt-right groups. Still, that expert says tributes like the one we saw today do make a difference.